Hi, I'm John Ball from South Dakota Department of Ag Forest Health, and today I'm going to show you another bark beetle that attacks pine trees other than the mountain pine beetle. This is its close cousin. What I'll be talking about on this little segment is the pine engraver beetle, also known as the Ips, I-P-S, after its scientific name, Ips pinei. Now, Ips, or the pine engraver beetle, typically attacks trees that have been injured either by fire, as you're seeing in this particular tree, or the tops of trees that have been attacked by mountain pine beetles or drought-stressed trees. It's important to be able to distinguish between the two insects. Mountain pine beetle tends to form these very large globs of pitch on the trunk, where, as you can see on this tree, what you'll find is boring dust, very small dust along the trunk and usually at the base of the tree. Now that can also occur with mountain pine beetle during droughts, but nevertheless, usually you're going to find this kind of small bits of powder drifting down the tree as evidence of where the pine engraver beetle bored in. When you cut open the tree, you'll then see the galleries, and the galleries are quite different too. The gallery to the, uh, to the pine engraver beetle is usually just a series of long, often serpentine, uh, tracks going through the, the egg gallery, the parent gallery, and we'll see some small galleries coming off from the side of that. The pine engraver beetle tends to follow, par excuse me, the uh, mountain pine beetle tends to follow parallel uh, up the bark there with the grain of the wood and the side tunnels coming off, so they do look quite different. The other thing too is you're going to find the pine engraver beetle uh, is burrowing through the tree in a much longer time period, usually from April through September.